Hi, I'm Rick Burnley, editor of Kayak Angler Magazine, and I'm here today with some paddles that we uh, tested for the winter issue of the magazine. I uh, just want to give folks a little bit more information on these uh, paddles that we weren't able to include in the article. And uh, we started with a wide variety of paddles because there's a wide variety of paddlers uh, uh, out there fishing. And we had to, of course, include a canoe paddle uh, because lots of people fishing out of canoes. And uh, um, for this test, we used the uh, Gray Owl Voyager paddle. And uh, let me tell you, I don't do a lot of canoe fishing, but uh, went up to a family reunion, took this canoe paddle with me. They got canoes at the uh, at the lodge, and uh, I was the uh, I was definitely the canoeist, the, the coolest canoeist out there in the family. All my cousins and aunts and uncles were jealous of this paddle, uh, made out of a wood laminate, uh, and um, what that does, a wooden paddle a lot smoother. This one's super light as well, only 21 ounces, um, and a lot smoother, a lot, uh, a lot more forgiving uh, because of the softness of the wood. So um, when you're canoe fishing, uh, you know, picking out a good paddle is uh, key to, um, you know, having a more enjoyable trip on the water. Uh, the lighter the paddle is, the easier it's going to be to use. This thing's darn near indestructible. And, uh, um, you know, check it out if you if you canoe fish. Voyager by Gray Owl. Um, we'll also test it out a couple stand-up paddleboard paddles. You know, nowhere is the paddle more um, more important than on a stand-up paddleboard. Uh, when you think about the physics of the whole operation, you're standing on a paddleboard, so you're already high off the water, and you're swinging a paddle that's you know pretty far away from your body. So things like swing weight and stiffness are super important in order to transfer all the energy into the paddle and into the and into, into the stroke. And uh, um, uh, Aquabound this year came out with this Malta paddle, uh, brand new, and uh, <clears throat> we got one as soon as it came out uh, to test on our uh, on our stand-up paddleboards, and it's no. Uh, no disappointment, uh, you know, fantastic carbon fiber uh, shaft, fiberglass uh, blade, be a little bit tougher, but super stiff, super thin, and, uh, um, you know, real low swing weight, um, adjustable with a uh, push button, so you can dial it in, uh, so it's a perfect height on your paddle board, and also you can go from one paddle board to the other and still be able to adjust it some. Um, carbon fiber handle, uh, super light paddle, very nice. This is the uh, Aquabound Malt. And then on the same note, we also uh, um, tested out this uh, Boardworks FGR carbon fiber paddle. Same deal, you know, um, again, lightweight, stiff, uh, a good swing weight, a large enough blade to operate, you know, one of these larger fishing stand up paddle boards. Um, and this one has also an adjustable shaft. Uh, you just pull out this little latch and pull the shaft out and it's like infinitely adjustable. Anywhere you feel comfortable, you just tighten up the, uh, the latch on the end of it and it sets the paddle length. And that's important too to dial that in, you know, um, make sure you're getting the most efficient stroke because paddling a stand-up paddle board is not as easy as it looks and, uh, and the good paddle makes it a little bit easier. Um, of course, one of the most paddles we were most excited to get about this uh, for this uh, review was my personal paddle, and this is a brand new um, uh, Bending Branches Angler Pro carbon fiber. Uh, for years, I paddled the uh, Aquabound carbon fiber, similar paddle. Uh, for years and years and years, uh, that was my paddle, and uh, uh, never the paddle never complained. It looked pretty bad, but it still performed fantastically. Uh, so I was excited to replace it this year, and I was very choosy about what I was going to replace it with. And this is what uh, what came out. Bending Branches came out with. This this uh, new paddle this year and um, the design runs across their whole line so it goes from the carbon one to the fiberglass uh, blade uh, paddles too but of course we had to get the uh, carbon fiber blade again can't stress enough the importance of a lightweight paddle that's stiff. Uh, the faster, I mean, the more energy you can transfer to the paddle blade, and the smoother your stroke, the less energy you're going to use to paddle. And that's what's uh, the key to, you know, getting where you're going as easy as possible. Uh, this has got the carbon fiber blade, and these blades they completely redesigned for this year. Uh, they're a little bit larger than the other blade that I was using, um, but that's better for these bigger kayaks because you got a little bit more torque in there. This is not, you know, this is a high angle blade. It's not a touring blade which would be long and narrow and so you get a lot more low-end power with it than you would if you were using a, a touring blade where you're you know more concerned about going a long distance in a straight line this paddle is good for going a long distance in a straight line but it's also great for maneuvering one of these boats and flipping them around and turn around I like a little bit larger blade and they did like all kinds of testing tank testing and physics testing and everything else on this thing for years to get it right and uh, it definitely pays off this is uh, the um, uh, carbon fiber angler pro by bending branch 
which is brand new for this year. My personal paddle, highly recommended. Love this thing. Um, <clears throat> on the other end of the spectrum, <laughs> another uh, another new paddle for this year. Uh, a lot of you are familiar probably with the. Um, backwater paddles, uh, uh, hand paddle, the assassin hand paddle, uh, which looks just like this paddle blade, but you use it with one hand. Well, this they this year they've included that blade on a full-size kayak paddle, and um, and uh, you know the same the same as the hand paddle. This is a f uh, injected uh, plastic blade, and that makes it, of course, completely indestructible. You know, you can put this thing anywhere you want and uh, and get it back out, and that's the idea of it. You can see the you know the the shapes cut into the side of it. The the, the paddle is designed to be used as more than just a paddle but a push pole and a pull pole and whatever you need it for. Um they saved a lot of weight by using a carbon fiber shaft um, and that makes it actually a paddle that you can use. Now, um, what I found this paddle to be great for is, you know, on, on my pedal kayaks, uh, I'm not paddling all day long on that boat, you know, I'm just using the paddle to maneuver myself or to, you know, wedge myself in some place. So when I get where I'm going, this paddle comes out and I don't have to worry about rocks and, you know, oyster bars and everything else. I can just use this thing as a tool, you know, to get the big pedal boat where I want it to be and, uh, and in close quarters. So, you know, this is a great companion to your pedal kayak. Um, another similar kind of uh, 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 great companion to a pedal kayak or a good um, uh, uh, fishing kayak paddle in general. Makes a nice backup paddle or second paddle to have. This is the um, H2O's Crystal X paddle. Again, new for this year. And uh, uh, they use fiberglass uh, uh, shaft and fiber and uh, an injected molded uh, blade. But if you can see the interesting thing about this is the blade is uh, almost completely clear. This one's purple. They come in orange and I think they even have a clear version. Um, it, it says it says blem down here because they got a couple um, uh, bubbles inside the blade, but it doesn't affect the performance on this one. We tested it out, and uh, it, it's actually a pretty good blade and uh, a lot of fun to use. And again, completely indestructible. Uh, great blade for uh, using on your pedal kayak, or you know, if you go places where you need something that's going to be tough. Uh, this is kind of got an interesting uh, ferrule system where you just push the paddle blades together or you know, the shaft together, and you can spin it, and then you let it go, and it locks in place to get the perfect angle. And then you pull it like that, and pull it open, and it comes into two pieces. So anyway, this is the uh, H2O Crystal X paddle, and uh, another great blade for this year. You know, a lot of good kayak paddle blades are coming out, designed for kayak anglers, larger blades, light. Lighter, lighter units and um, we were happy to test them out this year for the winter issue check it out I'm Rick Burnley and you're hooked up